good day everyone you're watching radio fixes in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix if the sound doesn't play in your windows after installing windows on your computer now there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved now the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and restart windows audio services to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on ok once you have the services.msc window open you will have to go ahead and locate for windows audio service it would be in alphabetical order so locate for windows audio do a right click and then click on restart once the restart of windows audio service has been done the next thing is you will have to locate for Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. Once you have located Windows Audio Endpoint Builder, do a right click and then click on Restart again. Make sure the service is running. In case if these services are not running, you will have to do a right click and then click on Properties. Make sure the startup type has been set to Automatic and then click on Start. You can repeat the same thing for Windows Audio. You can do a right click and go to properties. Make sure the startup type has been set to automatic. And if the service is not running, you may click on start and then click on OK. Once this is done, you may close this window, restart your computer and then check if you are able to play audio on your computer. In case if you are able to fix the problem, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and check and select the correct output device. To do this, you can do a right click on the sound icon at the bottom right corner and then click on sound settings. Once you're on the sound settings, it will take you to the output. Under output, make sure you have the correct output, output here. In case if it has been set to something else, you may go ahead and change and then try to play the audio. And you can also check the volume level. Make sure you keep the volume level to the highest and try to play a sound and see if it works. In case if it works, well and good. You don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and disable audio enhancement on your computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the sound icon at the bottom right corner of your task manager and then click on sound settings once you're on the sound settings you will have to scroll down and then locate for more sound settings under more sound settings you will have to go ahead and choose your playback device in my case it is speakers and headphones you can do a right click and then click on properties this will open up the speaker or the respective device properties under this you will have to click on enhancement under enhancement you will have to check the box which says disable all enhancement then click on apply and then click on ok close this window and then try to play the audio and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step what you could try is you can go ahead and do a sound reset on your computer. To do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you are on the settings you may click on system and then on the right hand side you may click on sound. Click on sound scroll down until you locate for volume mixer. Click on it and then on the right hand side you will have to scroll down until you locate for reset sound devices and volume for all the apps you may click on reset now what this will do is this will go ahead and reset the volume and devices for all the respective apps which are using the sound control once this is done you may try to play the sound and check if your issue has been resolved now in spite of trying all this step if you are still facing a problem the next step what you could do is you may go ahead and update your audio driver. Now there are a few things what you could do here. To do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then locate for device manager and click on it. Once you have the device manager open you will have to locate for sound video and game controller. 
expand sound video and game controller you can choose the respective default audio driver in my case it is realtek so most of the time that would be the one otherwise it would be intel one so what you could do is you can do a right click and then click on update driver and then you can choose the option which says search automatically for the drivers and then click on close repeat the same step for any of the devices mentioned here do a right click update the driver search automatically for the drivers once this is done you may close this window restart your computer and then check if you are able to play the sound on your computer in case if you are able to play the sound on your computer well and good you don't need to try the next step the next step what you could do is you may go ahead and roll back the audio drivers on the computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager and once you have the device manager open locate for sound video and game controller now here you may go ahead and choose your default sound driver you can do a right click and then click on properties once you're on the properties you may click on driver under driver see if you have an option which says rollback driver in case if you have an option for rollback driver click on it in case if the rollback driver option is grayed out then what you could do is you may go ahead and click on uninstall device in case if the rollback driver is being disabled then you may go ahead and click on disable device click on ok repeat the same step for your other drivers you can do a right click and then click on properties go to drivers and see if you have an option for rollback dri driver in case if it is grayed out click on disable device once this is done you may click on ok close this window restart your computer now when you restart your computer you should be able to play the sound just in case if you're not able to play the sound you can go back to the device manager you can do a right click and then click on device manager once you're on the device manager locate for sound and video controller now here you can go ahead and do a right click and then click on scan for hardware changes once this is done you may go ahead and enable the, the drivers which you had disabled by doing a right click and then click on enabling the driver now currently since these drivers are enabled that i don't have an option to enable it is disabled so you, you can click on enable follow the same step for the other drivers close this window and then try to play the audio and you should be able to play the audio so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.